and we're live. Very it's nice. It's just funny how easily destroyed. you can mention that you burned something or melted it with a flamethrower. Like, not that you ever would, Jordy, but what would you do? Like, if you had to get a gun, like if someone mm -hmm. out there, like some crazy fan was like, you know, you got like a scary, you know, phone booth style. I, I know, phone I call. know mixed martial arts, first of all. So, mm. you know. No, but you know that he says, I know my I'm shit. coming for you and I've got a, it's not Jesse Ventura though. It's not Jesse Ventura <laughs> who's coming to kill you. It's just some other guy. I've got a gun. It's Mr. T. Find you. I don't even have to find you. I fucking know where you are. I'm going to get you. If you don't, if you're, I'm going to be there tonight, like motherfucker. And then it's you not too hard like, to I need to get a gun place. right now. Like, what yeah. would be first move uh, like is there any way to legally do it where you could go do like an express uh, here, here in spain yes you can get hunting rifles mm -hmm. um but i guess you know i'm not a big gun guy but i've seen some videos probably just like a shotgun you know, when they when they you pump bam yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, one that one that takes that like eight bullets you, you know should, like uh... a, what is it remington or i don't know i sure. call of duty yeah, so i know my sure. guns a little bit yeah, um, get the 870, get the Mossberg yeah, 500. Yeah, and, the, and you know then... If you just go into the gun store and say you want the one that goes... <laughs> bang! You want that Arnold has, right? No, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what you need right there. Yeah. yeah. I, you kind of put that gun down, but that would be a first choice for a lot of people for home defense. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I oh, because it's aim, you know, you don't even have to aim right. Got a nice spread. You just aim somewhere. Maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just aim at the door. Got a good yeah. spread. Got a good spread. And the thing about it is, if you hit someone with it, it's not like like in, getting shot with a pistol. No. It's, <laughs> it's so much more. Like they don't even measure the amount of like projectile that comes out of a shotgun and, and grains like they do everyone else. This weird term. Oh, it's 90 grain bullet. Like that doesn't mean anything to most people. It's ounces. It's shooting mm -hmm. an ounce of lead at you at a time or more usually. Right. It's, a, it's, it's a whole different. Whole do you different know how many grains shotgun. are in an ounce? How many grains are in an ounce? It's like 1,600 or something. It's a whole bunch. Convert I don't know offhand. Grains though. to ounces. One grain converts to about 0 0.00229 ounces. I really should have gone the other way. Convert <laughs> ounces to <laughs> grains. <laughs> no, but Woody, this is a simple math problem. Convert now, ounces to grades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she Let has grades. Here's some information. I, I, I totally think that the shotgun is the right approach. For the home defense, for somebody who's never done before, definitely not a sniper. You don't want to kill the neighbor three houses down. Four hundred. You know, you're dead anyways. Four hundred. Oh yeah. Something. There you go. Four thirty-seven point five. Thirty-seven point five. Four thirty-seven point five. Oh, it's a whole bunch. Maybe a maybe lot. a handgun. Yeah. I don't know. Handgun, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, it, there's so much harder to shoot kyle you obviously have way more experience if you yeah. if someone was like i have no gun experience and i'm looking to defend my home you would say shotgun for sure shotgun. Right? yeah you want, you want a nice spread you want the shotgun or maybe you want one of the pistols that is a shotgun one of the ones that it can shoot Your towards him judge. yeah like the judge or the uh what's the other one i don't have the judge some i've got people the other don't one like defender those. Cont some, pe some people feel like they don't penetrate you know a, a pistol based shotgun like the judge um, I, I heard that too. Well, it and then depends I read what kind of someone else who act who seemed they were on Reddit, so who fucking knows? But it was on the guns one, and he was like, "Here's why everybody who says that this defender or Taurus judge isn't gonna kill you is an idiot." And then he broke down this huge thing, and by the end of it, I'm like, "Well, fuck! Like maybe this is a good idea." And then, but who knows? Maybe he's just a sales rep for for Taurus. Um, Kyle yeah, does that a little fine. bit too, but with birdshot. There are people who are like, "Birdshot won't even shoot through a card heart." And Kyle's like, you ever shoot a tree with birdshot? Shit will fuck you up. So yeah. I've shot trees down with birdshot. Yeah, it just depends on the range. Range is so important with everything, obviously, because it's affecting the velocity. You know, up close, yeah. the vo it's up close. It's an ounce. It doesn't matter that that birdshot is seven and a half, eight, eight, nine shot, really tiny pellets of lead, because it's all in one tight wad that weighs an ounce that's moving 1,200 to 1,500 feet per second. And if it hits you within, you know, close enough before that thing is spread out, then it's it just blows a hole through you that you can look through. Uh, I mean, you know, that bird shot shoots through like steel plate and door locks and all that stuff. Hmm. It's, it's, it's vicious. So out of that 410 pistol, um, I've shot buckshot and it's not many. It's like three Ooh. or four buckshot. I've also shot these rounds that are like um, the projectiles are cylindrical, but they stack on top of each other like um, like perfectly. Like pellets. So like, like pellets that stack on top of each other and, and interlock one into the other, like they plug into one another. 
Um, and I've seen, uh, obviously, Rat Shot and, and Slugs, and they make Slugs. But, but the main thing that you would do is the, um, the 45 Long Colt, because it also shoots those 45 Long Colts in the, in the one I've got. I don't remember what that one's called. I haven't. It's loaned to my dad. He's had it in his bedroom for like two years or something. Hmm. But a shotgun get get it done. Yeah, 12 gauge will kill fucking anything, man. You can take that 12 gauge shotgun that you buy at Walmart and shoot like doves with it, or you could kill an elk with it, or you kill a bear with it. It, it does everything as little or, or as cats. much as you want. You hmm. can take the shotgun shells apart and put like fucking rock salt in them, or like dimes, or or put your a, or a knives and forks in a blender and then shit that. Put that Any shit of in that. there. Yeah. Put, is, <clears throat> Kyle, I know you've done this like a ton. What is something that you put in there that you thought like this will be funny, like it'll just kind of like flutter out or do something like that and then you shot it and it ended up being like devastating are there any arrow, examples of stuff the like first that? time the first time i put an arrow in a shotgun shell i was shocked at how accurate it was and, and the penetration power it had um and all i did was you know just load up a shotgun shell and put an arrow down the barrel into the into the open shotgun shell without any shot in it just a packing and it shot that goddamn arrow so fast so accurate so hard like i i aimed at a mannequin's head and i hit him in the eye you know, like it, it, it worked. Um, so I was shocked by that. Um, I bought these 20 gauge impact slugs one time and the projectile was the fuse of a much larger artillery explosive. So it's, in, but, it, but it, it detonated, it detonated on impact and um, the projectile was the perfect size to fit in a 20 gauge shell. So I just went and bought a 20 gauge shotgun just to shoot the, this ammo that I had found. And when it impacted, huge explosion really devastating so so those were fucking cool that's kind of a homemade shotgun round i guess back when you know my video my channel was kind of peaking and stuff i i made this video where i took apart like i took a big knife and i showed people what was inside a shotgun shell because most of my audience were gamers and a lot of them were like 14 and stuff and didn't really have experience with like what these rounds were like so i showed them what was inside and i just casually mentioned like you know you could take these like buck out and put like an arrow here or other things and shoot whatever you want out of a shotgun. Well, CNN picked up the story and said like, you know, YouTuber teaches people how to make custom rounds and you know, isn't this irresponsible and stuff like that. And, uh, but it didn't hurt my feelings at the time. Some stuff would get under my skin. I was just like, more money. I don't care. You know, and what you, you want to say to them more is, money. <laughs> what you want to say to the person at CNN is, do you really think I came up with a more deadly round in my backyard than Remington was able right. to come up with? Do you think that, I, that the people at Winchester are looking at my video going, ah, we never considered <laughs> shoving an aluminum arrow down there. What were yeah. we thinking, boys? Oh, That's my God. Cool. You put your silverware in a blender and then, sh oh, that, uh, that <laughs> beats like, what we do. <laughs> there's a whole like boardroom at, at Federal Ammo right now <laughs> with a guy just playing your video, looking at this boardroom of people being like do you have any explanation for how we missed this you know, like, uh, this guy's in his back fucking yard <laughs> there was another one um i just so i was at i was at kyle's house and we i was shooting uh dragon's breath and i threw like spray paint in the air and i actually hit the can but it didn't do anything cool so i threw it up again and i shot it and i hit it again we put it in slow-mo but then you look out in the field and the dragon's breath had landed in like eight different spots. So I had to go up there and stomp on it. And uh, it was kind of growing at about the same rate I could stomp. So I wasn't making it was make. I don't know if I would have got it on my own or not, but Kyle came up and helped and we put it in fast motion into some music or whatever. Glenn Beck picked that shit up and like wrote this thing about irresponsible gun ownership and all that. But again, I was like, eh, more money. <laughs> you know? yeah, don't <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. And it, nothing irresponsible about that. It's fucking cool as shit. Uh, I, I think I'm the only per first person to ever do that shit. You know, just throwing those paint cans up there and shooting them with the dragon spread. They explode. It's great. Uh, sometimes. You know, to make it easy yeah. Yeah, sometimes. It I don't know what I did differently than you. Maybe it has I, to be, it was further. It has to be close. It, you yeah. know, it, it, there's some determining factors. Maybe the shot that, that's intermixed with your particular dragon's breath round wasn't the larger shot. Uh, maybe you didn't hit it dead center. Maybe you're using a modified choke instead of a full choke. Maybe that's a hardy paint can. Maybe that paint can's rotation was to the bottom facing you rather than the side where the walls are thinner and easy, more easily punctured. Um, I to, to get that every single time, you just tape a road flare or even better, yeah. uh, fuse. You just tape cannon fuse to the length of the can and light it and toss it up and uh, hit it with a real bird shot. But it do, you don't get the the imagery of you know dragon's breath going up and hitting it and, and like 200, 300 frames per second. 
that shit looks so cool. It looks like magic. It looks like you just cast a Harry Potter style spell <laughs> on the can. Yeah. So I, that was fun when shit got picked up and ran with like that. <laughs>